What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 7 of our Let's Play of Alpha Sapphire. So if you guys are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of this Let's Play. We, in the last episode, just downed Brawny and got ourselves a second gym badge, so we are just, uh, we're just gonna head on out here. Running on out. This guy probably has something nice to say to us, but you know what? I don't care. I don't want to talk to him. He's just going to be like, wow, really good job. I bet my advice really helps you. Like, no, bro, I know what to do against fighting type Pokemon. I had a fighting type gym myself. And you know what devastated it? A Honchcrow. A Honchcrow who just spammed Brave Bird all the time. I still won that match, though. You guys should check that out. Uh, that was my, uh, my uh, fighting type gym. Fighting type gym episode, little plug there, but you guys should definitely go watch that one. So we already fought this fisherman. We see, uh, we actually have a fishing rod now, so we could catch a water Pokemon if we wanted, but we have one already, so. So, let's not. Let's see what this guy, I was born in a village far from the sea, so I've always dreamed of coming to Hoenn. Born in a village far from the sea. Hmm. Hmm, not sure. So we see Slackoth comes out. <clears throat> and uh, level 13. We still have Hank in the beginning here. Uh, let's go for a wing attack here. Uh, he might go for an Encore if he has it. Uh, he's going to go straight away for the Scratch, hit me, and uh, does pitiful damage. I would be embarrassed if I were that Slackoth. I'm going to hit him with another wing attack. It's going to be a three-hit KO, it looks like. Uh, he's gonna miss that next turn thanks to Truant, and I'm gonna finish him off with a wing attack. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. <clears throat> I just drank a bunch of milk, and I always get like a, <clears throat> like a little, like a little, I gotta, gotta clear my throat. Yeah, what you guys didn't see is between the two episodes, I actually ate a meal. Yeah, I did. I microwaved stuff. Here. Don't ever say Gym Leader Geo didn't teach you guys anything. If you want your food to heat up more evenly and faster in the microwave, what you do is you position it in the shape of a ring. So you leave a little hole in the middle because the food in the center of like food when it's all like kind of piled together uh, does not heat up as evenly as the outside. So what you do is you just disperse that center. So now you just have like a, a ring and like the center is just like tiny little bits in the rivet of the ring, but it just, it heats up a lot more evenly. You guys will find, trust me. And it's, it heats up faster too. So don't say, don't you dare say I never taught you anything. I even have a series called Geo Teaches Trainers. I could teach you anything you want about microwaving stuff, how to beat up this dude. He's probably got three Magikarps. He's got two something. He's got one Magikarp. That was just a shot in the dark. I'm like, oh, I'm like really close to being right. So if he's not level 15, he can't even be tackling me. He's level 10, so no tackles from this dude. Um, phone blowing up continuously. Do you want me to bring anything Thursday? That can wait. That can wait. Ah! I have to hit start on my stopwatch. Um, almost killed that dude with a wing attack, and I hit him with a quick attack right quick just to make sure that that splash doesn't be, uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me anymore. Hank gets 85 experience. Broloom grew to level 11. And uh, Tentacool is going to come in. Good. So he's not just spamming me with Magikarps. I'm not going to switch Pokemon because we all know. We've seen it happen. Hank's first battle was against a Tentacool. And we beasted that fool. Uh, we didn't one-shot it though. Mm, don't one-shot him this time either. He goes for the Poison Sting, not the Acid this time around. Does not get the Poison. And we're going to be able to finish this guy off. With a two-piece wing attack. There we go. Delicious. Two-piece wings. Not enough. Not enough wings to have to fill someone's belly up. Hank grows to level 17. Do we see a new attack? I would not even mind a new attack right now. Double team. I would mind a new attack right now. Sorry, bro. Don't run double team. Actually, maybe if the other thing he's got is focus energy or growl. Growl. Whatever. I'll drop growl. I'm never going to use it. It's simply not useful enough. It simply isn't. Um, I'm pretty happy with where my team is right now, but I'd like some more interesting Pokemon. You know, like I like I like uh, I like Hank. I like Miguel. Um, I like Broloom and Beldum. 
Who else do I even have? Who else is in my team right now? Chill. Mm, chill. Yeah, I feel like, realistically, I'm probably not going to use Chill in the scheme of things. Chill's a cool Pokemon, but Truant is really freaking annoying. Um, so I've pretty much explored most of what there is to be explored in the great wilderness out here. So let's just enter this giant cave. Um... Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep moving. Sorry, I got distracted. I'm a distractible human. That dude didn't even. What are you gonna do? Heal me? For us hikers, helping out those we meet is our motto. Here you go. I'll pass this on to you. TM Flash. There we go. Let's give Flash to someone. I'm not sure anyone on my team can learn Flash. Hmm. No. Okay, Broloom, you absolute G. Thank goodness, you saved my life. Broloom is the only Pokemon on my team that can learn Flash. I will drop so you guys can see the bottom screen also. What move should be forgotten? What do you think, guys? Absorb, Tackle, Stun Spore. I'm going to drop Stun Spore. No, because I might need it for catching Pokemon. Um, Tackle is going to be doing way more damage than an Absorb, even if it hits super effective from my lower special attack stat. Uh, and Leech Seed's too good. Sun Spore for catching stuff. Tackle my primary attack. Let's get rid of Absorb. And now, Broloom, you are serving a very important purpose for our team, at least for the next little while. So we're going to drop that out. And we're going to continue with this. Uh, we're going to walk down these steps. Look at the graphics. My goodness, this hype in these graphics right now. Um, so, I'm going to explore this cave a little bit. There's a dude standing up there. Is that Steven? What's happening? Oh... Are we have this thousand-year-old painting. Is that what Steven's admiring right now? You look awfully aquatic, Steven. I'm suspicious if that's Steven. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, in the ancient world, the power, the primal forms once held this much power. A super ancient Pokemon. What terrible strength. But this appearance here... It seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm. It seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm? You are? Ah, I see. It's a pleasure, Geo. My apologies. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones. So I travel here and there. Today, my journey brought me here. But what about you? Oh, a letter for me? You shouldn't have, Dom. Geo gave Steven the letter that he had been entrusted with. Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down, I suppose. I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I can give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move. Steel Hwing. There's no H in Hwing. It's not spelled Hwing. Guys, it's not. Hwing. Steel Wing is a, is, a, is a weird move. It's got horrible accuracy and not even that much power. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world, lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes, but not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think that you have what it takes to become Pokemon League champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Steven. I'm going to be battling you someday, real soon. Mm hmm. You are a champion, Steven. So, am I done with here? Wait, what does this say? Uh, cave painting with Pokemon-like creature wrecking havoc. There's a symbol of an ancient alpha on each of the beast's two arms. Mm-hmm. 
Alpha, the beginning, the great flood. Omega, the end, the great desolate drought. That's where Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire get their names from. What we see here, ladies and gentlemen and challengers, is a Zubat. And everybody knows that this is the world's least favorite Pokemon. So I'm going to hit it with a wing attack. And it's going to go for Super Sonic. And you are going to miss. Never mind. I'm going to kill you in one shot. Get on out of here. Hank picks up a, a quick and easy kill on that Zubat. And, oh, you know what? I probably should have caught it. Yeah, I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch some Pokemon in here. I think. That's an Abra. I'm great balling you right now before you have a chance to teleport away. Come on, great ball. Make my day. Come on, great ball. Level twelve Abra. Yes! Awesome! Guys, I am so pumped right now. I just got an Abra. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Mmm, my god. I don't even know how I'm going to evolve this bad boy. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, my only local Pokemon playing friend is uh, at school up in, um, in San Francisco. Up. Spoiler alert, I'm south of San Francisco in the Bay Area. Still don't know where I live, guys. You still don't know. Um, yeah, and 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 I don't know that he's playing right now because he's in law school. He's like uh, crazy busy. Excuse me. Wherever are my manners? Abra needs to sleep for 18 hours a day. If it doesn't, this Pokemon loses its ability to use telekinetic powers. If it's attacked, Abra escapes using teleport while it's still sleeping. Fun fact. Fun fact. Psy Pokemon. All right, this is a female Abra. What shall your nickname be? What shall your nickname be? Female Abra. Kadabra. Alakazam. Hmm. So, like, I'm thinking, like, so it's like telepathy, but I like the name Ellie. So let's go Telly. Your name is going to be Telly. Yeah. But I don't know if I should do it with a Y, because then it's like TV. It's like Telly. Let's just call you Ellie, actually, and just everyone will understand that that's where, uh, that's where that comes from. So we've now got Ellie the Kadabra joining the party. I am excited for this. Abra can actually learn, uh, can actually learn Flash. I'm not going to stay in there because I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to catch other Zubats. Um, now where am I going, though? Was there anything over here? Can I like run behind this? Is there secret? <gasps> secret? What? Aha! Where are we? Route 107? Where are we going? Uh... Okay, well, there's not really anything I can do here right now. Certainly not until I can, um... Certainly not until I can surf, but that was cool to head over there. I bet that was written somewhere and I just missed it. Aho! Um, yar! Aho! It looks as though you've been delivered your shit good and proper. Ah, but that reminds me. I've been a message for, or I've had a message from President Stone saying he has another favor to ask. It's about them Devon parts you've recovered from him before. Seems as though they should be uh, go to some fellow named Stern at the Slateport shipyard. This old sea dog will see you there safely. Way anchors! We're off for Slateport. Slateport City it is, anchors away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. Ugh. That doesn't feel too good. That one's really hard. How do people talk like that all husky and harsh for like all of the time? That's some people's voices. Ahoy, we've made it to land in Slateport. I suppose you're off to visit Captain Stern and deliver those Devon parts. <clears throat> I suppose so, sir. What we see here is uh, a Wingull that ran away from me as soon as I came near it. Whatever. Fuck you. I don't want to talk to you either. 
Um, I've laid anchor in ports around the world, but Slate Port is the best. Oh, it's a battle. Okay, so I think as soon as we get to Slate Port, I think we'll call this episode a, a Dunzo. So let's battle Sailor Huey. Machop. Well, Hank, we've seen that you're strong enough to take on some gym leaders, Machop, so I'm not worried about this. Oh, I'm level 15, huh? Hey, big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. This is going to be a solid two-hit two KO, but the low sweep, though... Oh, my word! That did 21 damage. This is only... Oh, my God. And I'm not confident I'm going to outspeed him at 50%. Oh, my goodness. I'm not willing to lose Hank right now. Hank is my bird right now. Hank is my bird. Miguel comes in. The follow-up karate chop attack is a critical hit and almost a two-hit KO against Miguel, who is, uh, who's going to finish this off with a water gun, I hope. We do outspeed, hit him with the water gun, and Machop goes down. That low sweep, my word. My word, so much damage. Broloom grows to level 12 and wants to learn Mega Drain. Hmm. When does Mega Drain? Power 60. Power 40. So still weaker than Tackle. Still off thy weaker special attack. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore it. No, we should not. And yes, we should ignore it. We should ignore, ignore, ignore. Um, I'm gonna move my chair forward. My goodness. You're the best. I'm all right. 600 poke yen for winning. We're going to keep moving around. Moving around, moving around. What else is going on over here, huh? We got a little hut right there. It's got, I knew it. it always, there's always like a pokeball in the corner. A PP up. Wow. I used to have a lot of those in my old game um, on X and Y. should probably pump all of them into my Pokemon before I transfer them. Yo, trainer, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat or not, chill at my papa spot. Wow, what? Seashore house. Something about battles raging. I didn't read it all. I got a little I got a little rushed. Am I just gonna battle a bunch of people right now? Alright. Okay. We see Poochina. Um, thanks for rubbing it in that Charles lost his life to a fellow higher level Poochina who was spamming sand attack on us, but. Hank is not in a great spot. Oh my god, why did I... I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk the two wing attacks taking this Poochina out. He goes for the bite. Come on, Hank. Hang on. <sighs> really close to death. We're gonna go for one more wing attack, and then we're gonna switch in... Uh, I think we're gonna switch in... No, I don't wanna switch in Beldum. Bite would be super effective against him also. Beldum's level 13. Miguel grows to 20. He's going to try and level up again. He wants to learn Mud Sport. Terrible move. Miguel, come on. Carvana. Yeah, let's switch Pokemon. Let's switch Pokemon. Let's have... Uh... Oh, not safe to put in Ellie. I've actually got a... I've actually kind of got two Psychic Pokemon on this team right now. But Ellie, I don't think it has any moves, right? What do you guys think? you have any moves, Ellie? Telepuerto. Nope, that's it. Just teleport. Chill. Let's see if you can one-shot this deal. Otherwise, it's going to take you three turns to kill this guy. Chill comes in. Carvana comes out. You have got the defense of a much more frail fish, and I'm going to hit you with a cut attack right now. He goes for the bite. And let's hope no flinch. I do get a flinch, and now I'm going to truant, I'm pretty sure. So... He goes for another bite. This is frustrating. Yeah, there's the truant. Chill. Let's uh, let's give you one more chance to not flinch here. He goes for the focus energy. Not great. Not great. I'm gonna go for the cut, and it's going to take out the Carvana in one hit. I get hit by the rough skin. Chill was hurt, but it's okay because I do manage to get that one hit KO. Hank grows to 18 but still really injured in his own right. I'd love to heal up right now. Miguel, you're not evolving until you learn one useful GD move. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say about little Miguel. Um, is this guy gonna like heal me up? I kinda need to heal. 
I'm the owner of the Seashore House, Mr. C. What I love it above all is to see hot Pokemon battles. Let me see if your heart burns hot. If you can defeat all the trainers here, I'll reward you with for the effort. Um. Okay. Okay, well then, what that means to me is I use one of these 17 potions to heal up Hank. Two of them. Miguel, I want you healed up too, and Chill, you're my backup, so you're gonna be... You're gonna be... Everything is good now. Everything is golden, right as rain. I'm gonna beat up this person. I'm gonna sit behind him. That person to turn around like that. Like, hey, what's, uh, what's going on back there? See, and even in... The, she's even sitting. Delinquent Desiree is even looking, turning around, but... Sableye? How does this person have a Sableye already? I haven't seen Sableye. Hmm. Did you get a Sableye in that cave? He's going for the Fury Swipes. Hopefully it only hits twice. He gets a crit on the first one. Hits three times. Four times. With a crit again. And a fifth time. I don't anticipate he's going to hit another five times with two crits. So he's going to go for the Detect. Stupid Sableye. I'm gonna go for the wing attack again here. I'm gonna count on less fewer than five Fury Swipes with two crits is what I'm counting on here. He hits for two. Only two that time. Okay, so we are gonna take out... Hank is gonna manage to take out the Sableye with this third and final wing attack. Sableye goes down. Feeling good here. And uh, you know what? I think actually given... Um, Given how much time we're spending out and about right now, I think after we beat all the trainers in here, we're going to call this episode just to make sure we're not going on too long. Chill wants to evolve. Don't mind if you do, chilly boy. Let's get you up to Vigoroth status. Oh my god. It's such a beautiful evolution sequence. Vigoroth. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god, this guy's going to be an MVP of this team for a while. At least until it becomes a slacking, and then until I get a choice band, I'm not really sure I'm going to use him. There's we got more to do here. It looks like two more battles maybe, so I'm going to heal up uh, I'm going to heal up Hank. And uh, we're going to battle We're going to battle you, little kid. He said something about uh, if I hurt his Pokemon, he's going to cry. This is Tuber Simon, and he's got an Azuril. Normal water. Horrible stats. You're a little baby Pokemon. What level are you? 15? 14. Weak. All right, Hank. Take him out. One shot him with this wing attack. Azuril. Impressive. Hits me with the bubble. Doesn't get the speed drop. I hit him with another wing attack. Probably could have gone for the quick attack. Didn't need to. Azuril goes down. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna... With Tuber Simon down, he said he's not gonna cry. I don't really believe him. He's probably doing it in the in a little bit. I'm, I don't want to sit in that seat. Uh, what I do want to do is fight this trainer. And then it looks like we got one more trainer, and then we are going to call it, ladies and gentlemen. So this dude, Sailor Dwayne, is pretty ripped. Tentacool, once again, we've seen this matchup one million times. Just kidding, twice. And we know that Hank can take you out. Maybe even one-shot you now that I'm level 18 and you're in level 13. Hank is going to get the one-shot on the Tentacool. Cool, 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 good and great. I'm going to ding 19. All right, Hank. Making moves, making plays. Beldum grows to level 14. Dude, Beldum takes a long time to level up. He really does. He's basically just barely keeping up with what level everyone is. And that's like kind of all he's doing. I get the one shot on the Machop, so no low kick shenanigans anymore. Low sweep. Not low kick. Uh, Broloom and Ellie both level up. And uh, yeah. Feeling pretty good here. Let's see if this is one more trainer I've got to be uh, training with. <laughs> Boring battles aren't worth the effort. Well, I can't say I disagree with you there, uh, Beauty Joanna. Johanna. Joanna. She's got a Goldeen. If this were Smash, you would be very useless. But it's not Smash, so I'm going to have to hit you with uh, this and hope you don't go for the Horn Drill right now. Oh no, she went supersonic. That's a bad religion song. That's the name of the band, guys. 
Do not hurt yourself, Hank. What we see here is a confused spamming Goldeen. I snap out of the confusion and get off one more attack. She goes for the supersonic again and lands it again. Hank, don't even listen to this girl. Hit him with a quick attack right now. Finish off this game. Thank you very much. Let's see what we get as a reward from this, guys. Do you guys already know? Have you played up to this point already in the game? Let's see what Joanna says. You're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. Whoa. With the weed references. I'm more than pleased. As thanks for showing me your hot streak, I want you to take these. A half a dozen soda pops. That was not worth it. Come on. Half a dozen? That's a six pack. Well, you know what? I'm going to call this episode here, though, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.